It is a new moon today. Happy Libra full moon. We have a full moon circle going down tonight, which a couple of you guys are coming to, which is so exciting. Typically, I would have left my crystals outside overnight to charge, but it is raining and we had a beautiful week of weather where it was like 17 degrees, which is insane for spring here. We're not gonna get into why that's happening because it's just gonna make me sad. Just trying to get some good lighting in here. Should we put you on a book? I feel like we should put you on a book. We had a bit of an eventful morning this morning. As we're walking Tyson, one, it's raining, which he hates to walk in the rain. It's hilarious. He'll like rub up on, on everything. Um, so we took him out for like a really quick walk. But as we were walking, I just hear people start yelling as we're rounding like this fence. And I thought they were saying police. Like I thought it was like a raid or something. <laughs> I don't know, it was too early. My brain was just not there yet. And I thought they were yelling like, police, it's a raid or something. Anyways, it wasn't a police raid. It was a dog that was escaping from the house which I should have known because it's not the first time that this has happened. And I don't know if it's a rescue, but it's just not a dog person. And it's just not a dog person. It's just not a dog dog. Like it doesn't do well with other dogs. And it ran up to Tyson and like got under him. And I thought he was gonna be okay at first. And then he started like growling and going after Tyson, which I am so happy and just impressed with Tyson because we really didn't know how he was with other dogs. And in the beginning, he was really anxious around dogs. I think we may have taken him to training too soon and too early and he was just really nervous and didn't know how to handle it but he is so amazing with dogs this isn't the first time we were at the park like a couple weeks ago and this dog this dog bolted and the owner dropped its leash and it ran up to tyson and it was like growling right in his face and like going at him and tyson just kind of like turns his head and he's like uh excuse me why are you not being nice to me? So I am so happy and relieved that he does well with other dogs. It just breaks my heart because he always just seems so sad when people go after him. But he now has a girlfriend, which is really exciting. Our neighbors got a puppy named Chelsea a couple months ago. And because it was colder, they got to interact a little bit, but they didn't, like, we didn't let them off leash to play. And they are just the cutest playing together. I'll insert a clip right here. He's, like, in love with her. She has some other, other dogs that she spends a lot of time with. So she had a dog over the other day. They're friends. And Tyson was, like, at their front door just, like, sitting and crying because he knew he saw them walking together. So it was just, that is the tea on my dog for this video. All right, let's 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 do it. I have some work to do. I'm getting today's video ready to go. I'm a little bit last minute with my uploading. And then I'm also prepping for tonight's full moon circle, which I am so excited for. Guys, I went to Whole Foods and look what they have now. Look what they have. I was literally saying last week that I wanted a vegan croissant. I hadn't had one in ages. The universe came through for me. They are so good and they cost the same amount as regular croissants they do. I just got off the phone with my best friend and can you see how red my cheeks are? I don't know if you can see, but they are so red. Every time I talk to her, I just get so excited about life. And then we are both fire signs and my cheeks just heat up. I feel like whenever I'm really passionate or excited about something, I generate a lot of heat and then my cheeks get warm and it's super rosy natural blush. I'm about to set up for our little full moon ceremony. I just planned out the meditation because I've only ever led one other live guided meditation, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. And there's a couple of you who are gonna be on tonight, so I'm really excited. I need to like calm down. I feel like I'm on one. I really wanna do this in front of my altar, but still be able to set up my laptop, so I'm gonna bring my little nightstand. Not even a nightstand. I made this table in wood shop when I was in like the 12th grade, so. So I had to put that in my room <laughs> um, and my little side table. So I'm just gonna drag it over here. Space is set up for our circle tonight. I think I just need to go ground and like walk on the earth for a sec. I'm feeling very fiery, but I just wanna like reel it in a little bit. I need to sneak outside because if Tyson hears me, he's gonna wanna come out and it's super muddy because it was raining. Oh, I hear him. He's like ready for his walk. It's a failure. He totally heard me. He's gonna be there in three, two, one. It's a Tyson. Okay, you wanna come out? 
Oh, this is a bad idea. His feet are gonna be so dirty. <sighs> cool down my fire a little bit. To do our circle. Yeah. This is Miss Beach. I'm going to leave a full moon. YouTube, okay. meet my best okay. friend. Best friend. Hi, YouTube. Meet YouTube. <laughs> so we just finished our first ever circle. It was amazing. I'm so proud first of us. Time. First time. So proud of us. We were both nervous, but I think it went really well. And like lots of love, lots of fire, lots of oomph. <laughs> <laughs> lots of oomph. This is just the beginning. There's going to be retreats, in-person retreats, workshops, all of the good stuff. <laughs> More fire. So we finished up our full moon circle and it was actually like two hours ago, Bijou and I ended up on the phone for like two hours just chatting and it went so well. I'm so happy and so grateful for everyone who came and joined. I was a little bit nervous before because it was my first time leading, not my first time leading a guided meditation. I think I did one like half a year ago or something. So it was my second time, but I was still really nervous and never really talked about it on here before, but I used to have really bad social anxiety growing up. And I would say up until about two years or so ago, I would say like in the past year, it's gotten a lot, lot better where I st like don't get as anxious in social situations as I used to. I still do once in a while, but I think a lot of that also has to do with picking up on other people's energy. And I was nervous because it was new for me. And I kind of put this pressure on myself because I was like, I just want to be able to whip like a guided meditation out of my, like out of nowhere. And I just want to be one of those people who can just like channel guided meditations that are like amazing. And it was kind of hard on myself because I was like, why can't I do that? Like, why don't I know how to do that? I don't know why it took me a while for like it to dawn on me that we don't come out of the womb knowing how to do guided meditations. We don't come out of the womb knowing how to create like beautiful art. Maybe some people do, like maybe that, maybe th I'm not gonna say there's no one because there are probably a couple of people who do. For the majority of us, there are a lot of skills that we need to learn how to do. There's skills. We don't just come out like being a master meditation teacher or a master yoga teacher. Like a lot of these things don't come naturally to us. They're different. They're new. If you don't allow yourself to be bad, you will literally never be good. If you don't take the leap and just say, okay, I'm going to let myself fail. I'm going to create something even if it's terrible. You're doing yourself such a disservice. So yeah, I was feeling so not down about myself, but like I was just like, why can't I be good at guided meditations? because I've never done them before and I've never practiced doing a impromptu guided meditation with no script. So like, obviously I'm not gonna be good at it, but if I practice like tuning in and tapping into the energy, over time it's gonna be something that I learned how to do. So that's my little tangent. It's like 12 a.m., way past my bedtime. I'm gonna be up early for the 6 a.m. club tomorrow, I think. We'll see if I can get up. Morning. My alarm didn't go off this morning because my phone died in the night, and I missed my 6 a.m. book club. I'm sad. Simpson today. no motivation to work out recently but I managed to do some time on the treadmill and a quick ab 
workout despite my day having a late start. Now I have a session with someone. I'm so excited for it. It's not for someone else. I'm actually doing a session for myself with someone I've been following for a while and I don't even know what type of, I don't even know what I signed up for. I just really like her energy. So I booked a session with her. I'm just outside, it's like two degrees so it's a little bit cold so i have a blanket with me i'm just drinking my tea and i'm nice and cozy i just felt like being outside in the sunshine today wow you guys that was incredible so much happened within like the first 20 minutes that i don't even know like i literally looked at the clock like 20 minutes in and i'm like how did we make it through so much stuff already she is absolutely amazing and incredible i'm gonna link her down below but she does I don't even know how to like I don't want to put a label on what she does but like channeling me a bit of mediumship and all of that like just like talking to your guide spirit everything it's actually the girl who runs the 6 a.m club that I'm part of and I love her so much and I love like her energy and everything that she does so I was like I'm gonna book a session with her I'm so glad I did I don't even know I'm still like processing <laughs> I feel like I just need to like sit down and lay down for a minute and just like chill. I was hoping to get to work after, but I think I just need to chill for a sec. One thing that kept showing up in our session was that they are saying a relationship is coming for me, which if you guys watched my Valentine's Day vlog, I was kind of set on being single. I'm not set, but just like I'm really enjoying being single. So we had a nice little chat about that, but she said she foresees me being in a committed relationship by 2022 which is very interesting because i'm just like i'm just working on myself but yeah anyways we shall see what happens if you want to check her out i will link her down in the description box her instagram is roots rising co and she has such beautiful energy she i don't know i just love her i just want to be like everyone's hype woman you know i love people So I had a very random burst of energy and got a bunch of work done. I just like got on my computer to do something and then ended up working, like not even planning on doing it. And then I got really dizzy and felt like so much energy moving around and had to come lie down. I don't know what's happening, but that session was really powerful. And there's so much moving around right now. So I think I'm just gonna chill out and watch some Netflix and kind of like, veg out and do nothing because I feel like that's what I need. I'm really surprised that I was actually able to get some work done, but I'm glad that was, glad that, glad that happened. Does anyone else's Netflix just automatically go to Spanish or is it just mine? Because I have to change it every single time. And I don't know how to go on my computer and change it because I don't have the password for my family's Netflix. <laughs> I might change up this part, maybe delete the text altogether. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I like it. I think it's kind of cute. It's a bit different than what I've had before, but I feel like it just matches my vibe a little bit better now. Number three, Cece is the winner of this giveaway. Congratulations, Cece. In a couple of hours, I have a workshop with the girl, Brooke, I had a session with yesterday. She's running a workshop on psychic abilities and like increasing your psychic abilities, which I'm so excited for. I've been looking forward to it all week. I have that at 7.30. I just have some questions that I wanna like write down before. So I make sure that I am prepared. We were supposed to send them in before, but I couldn't think of anything. And then after our session yesterday, I had a bunch that came to me. So I'm gonna write those down, go sit outside, enjoy the sun. I somehow keep messing up meetings today. I completely missed a work meeting. Oops, sorry, Yara. And then I thought my workshop was at 7.30 and like five to seven. I was like, let me just double check the time. And I got a notification that it starts at seven. So I'm super excited for this workshop and I will let you know how it is when it's done.
workshop was absolutely amazing. I just love Brooke and being like in her energy. It was a lot of stuff that I already knew, but it kind of just really helped me realize that I've been using my psychic abilities way more. Whoa, my dad's playing cards with his buddies online downstairs and he's so loud. It really helped me realize how much I'm using my psychic abilities and how tapped into them I am and how tapped into them I have been without even realizing it and being like acknowledging that I've been doing it. And we talked about this a lot yesterday, but I think I used to just think like I was clairsentient, but I'm realizing now that I am clairaudient, clairsentient and clairvoyant as like my three main ones. And we tried to like pinpoint one main one. And for me, all three kept showing up, which is really interesting. I'm not gonna get into it too much. Maybe I can make a whole nother video about this if you're interested in it, but I am going to be seeking out like a mentor or a teacher to teach me more. I think I just wanna book a bunch of sessions with Brooke and just like ask her to teach me everything that she knows because she's absolutely amazing. But if anyone has any like programs or anything that they have or recommend or teachers that they have a recommend, let me know in the comments down below or send me a message on Instagram because I really wanna learn more about this. And I think that it is a huge, part of my path and part of my work as a healer so I want to try to in true Aries form learn it as much as possible and as soon as possible <laughs> it was funny because she pulled a card that kept popping up in my session with her yesterday which was raising your standards which came up a lot yesterday in terms of like relationships and just everything in general for me as well as the relationship card I just kept jumping out of the deck so that was really interesting and i thought i would share it with you guys in case anyone else needed to hear it as well because i think i felt a little bit uncomfortable in terms of being like yes i have raised my standards in terms of relationships and i'm just like i'm trying to get better like i don't know why i feel uncomfortable about saying that because i feel like by saying that i'm saying that my standards were low in my last relationship which I almost feel bad saying in a way and it's not that, that I believe that but I think I've just grown so much as a person that I now just have a better understanding of what I want and I know how to ask for it better and I know that I'm only going to align with people who fit with the things that I want to call in and the things that I'm ready for so yeah anyways i just thought i would share that in case that was helpful for anyone anyways i think i'm gonna wrap that up here thank you so much for being here if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up it really helps my channel grow and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe down below i make videos every week until then i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day keep radiating that good ass energy and i will see you in the next one i still don't know how to do like this you know the youtuber thing where people like go and cover the lens i'm terrified of like damaging my lens so someone teach me your ways tell me how it's done. <laughs> Bye.